Week 13, Problem 2. The average threshold of dark adapted scotopic? Scott? Dark adapted vision is 4 times 10 to the negative 11th watts per square meter and a central wavelength of 500 nanometers. If light with this intensity and wavelength enters the eye and the pupil is open to a maximum diameter of 7 millimeters, how many photons per second enter the eye? All right. So this guy is not complicated at all. It's going to be straight dimensional analysis. So you probably could have solved this one the first day of class. Should have been able to solve this one the first day of class last semester. All right. <laughs> Unless I'm totally wrong, in which case it's really hard and I have no idea what I'm doing. So here we go. I'm going to start by just writing something up. 4 times 10 to the negative 11th watts per square meter. Okay? So we know that your pupil is going to be have square meters involved. So I'm going to multiply by square meters. So I'm going to do 7 times, nope, yep, 7 times 10 to the negative third meters squared times pi. So this is, aha, divided by 2. Because this is radius right there. So this guy right here is pi r squared. So our r, our diameter is 7, so our radius is uh, half of that. So then we do pi r squared, and this will give us square meters. All right, so now we have watts. We need to find, oh, so this is the, hmm, oh, eh, I'll just multiply this out and see what happens. All right, so 4 times 10 to the negative 11th. times 7 times 10 to the negative third mm -hmm. negative third and then I'll do 7 divided by 2 bam 3.5 squared times pi let's see if Wolfram gives me what I want give me what I want Wolfram all right 4 times 10 to the negative 11th yep 3.5 to the all right, so 1.54 times 10 to the negative 15th equals 1.54 times times 10 to the negative 15th. All right, so we got that part. So and this is watts. And this is, let's see here, the average vision is, okay. So that's how many watts, which is, I'm going to rewrite as joules per second. Hmm. Maybe you couldn't have solved this uh, first day of last semester. So joules per second. So we've got to find out how many joules is associated with each photon. So one photon has an energy, which is HF, which is also HC over lambda. So I know from life Actually, I think I just learned in a physics class. HC um, is 1240 electron volts nanometers. Um, that's one of those things that's really good to know. It's just, it's worth memorizing in life. And then divide by this, divide by that. Um, I got to convert hmm, a electron volt, electron volt to joules. So, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. Okay, so I'm going to do it this way. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th joules per electron volt. There we go. So I'm going to take this divided by quantity, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. And I get, should be something really small. Eh. Ah, should be something really big. So I should have a really small number here, which I did because it's negative, negative 15. So 9621. 9621. And that's electron volts per second, which it's actually. That's pretty sensitive. That's, hmm, okay. 
All right, so that's how much energy you need entering your eye per second to see something. So we have 1240 divided by 500. 1240 divided by 500. And that's 2.48 equals 2.48 electron volts. So every photon of 500 nanometers gives us 2.48 electron volts. So we take 9621 divided by 2.48. So this is actually, let's see here, electron volts per photon. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this number divided by that number, the electron volts cancel, and we're left with photons per second, which is the official way of doing it. 3879. So then we're going to have 3879, which is not as many as I thought it'd be. Photons per second that need to enter your eye to see it. All right, so take a step back here, dimensional analysis. I started off in life, no idea where I was going to go. I just walked straight into the woods and expected to find grandmother's house, which I did. So I was like, all right, so we, we have a amount of um, watts, that um, amount of power per square meter, which I guess is intensity. Did it say intensity? Did it say, hmm, so that's intensity. Um, so we have some amount of basically joules per second per square meter that have to enter your eye. So we found out how big your eye was, and we multiply that together. So then we found out the amount of work that has to, or power that has to go to your eye. Um, and power is work per second or joules per second. So we found out how many, how much energy per second you needed. We found it in joules first because that's you know what I'm more familiar with in life. And it's easier to go from watts to joules. I then converted joules to electron volts because electron volts are more useful when you're talking about um, photons, little pieces of light. Pew pew. They don't actually make that sound. Um, and then from there we found out how many electron volts we had to have per second found out how many electron volts each individual photon gave us, and therefore we could find out how many photons per second we needed to make this work. And from there we just solved the problem. So divided the number, the amount we needed by the amount per each, and we got 3,879 photons per second, which is not very many when you think about it. So I guess it's not very many. Anyway, so that's the idea for this problem on the problem.